Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted last, and to be completely honest, I just, I haven't put much time into editing. I have all these videos that I just haven't sat down and pieced together. Also, just to be completely transparent, I am still struggling with getting myself to post stuff in general, on here, on Instagram, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not sure what it is that's holding me back from doing so, but I know that I want to be able to help people I know that I want to help other people build themselves up, learn to love themselves better, be healthier and happier. I know for me, focusing on those types of things has helped me love myself more, helped me develop a better relationship with Alvin and my family and really other people in general. And while I still have my own obstacles to overcome and things to get through and work through, I know I'm a better version of myself than I was, say, seven years ago. I honestly I think it's just me holding me back it's me being a little insecure about actually coming on here and sharing my thoughts and my knowledge and things that have worked for me but I mean it's things that have worked for me if it doesn't work for you that's okay if it works for you even better but regardless um, I'm here as just someone that genuinely wants to help um, back in April Alvin did get his purple belt and it was a surprise for both of us. I was prepping for Houston Open, but I did end up getting injured about a week before. I wasn't able to compete, but we did go out there to cheer on some teammates, which was pretty cool. Anyway, I really wanted to get this video out, so I made time to finish it. So here we are at open mat. I'm on the right. I actually forgot my belt that day. So I just threw on an extra white belt that we had at the gym. And Alvin's on the left. So this month actually will make seven years since I started training jujitsu. And the lessons I've learned from training has, honestly, it's been life changing. Alvin's gotten really good at this fake guard pull the ankle pick. Nothing else really forced me to look at myself as the reason for pretty much everything in my life. Um, nothing else forced me to really take control and realize that I was the one in control of my life. I was the one in control of my progress. I was the one in control of whatever I liked or didn't like about my life. I was trying to go for the back here, but we ended up close to the edge, I think. Close to the edge of the mat, so we ended up resetting. When I started training jujitsu, it really, it really changed that kind of victim mentality where I wanted to blame everything outside of myself for where I was and who I was and how I was. Trying to pass, I wanted to go for the collar grip, but he blocked it. So I tried grabbing the belt. Trying to make my way around, came up to my feet to start moving around. <laughs> I really started to take a look at myself and see who I wanted to be and what I needed to change in order to become that person. And again, we were by the edge of the mat, so we reset again. So he knocks me off balance, I fall back, I try to go to 50-50 and I wanted to come up. So I was trying to circle my right leg, but he was keeping my foot elevated so it was really difficult for me to stay up. I ended up turtling and framing his hip and then I sat to half guard. So when I'm in half guard, I think I was trying to go for like a Kimura grip or something, he came up. I'm seeing now that I didn't fight that collar grip, so he was able to better flatten me out and get me on my back. I was trying to get to my side here and he transitioned to the leg weave. 
from here, I was hugging his leg and trying to pull his leg into 50-50. he ended up sitting back and was able to transition into the crab ride. From there, I was still trying to pull him into 50-50 to defend him getting onto my back. He went from the crab ride to bolo. We just drilled this in class not too long ago. From here, I tried framing his hips with my arm to get him off my back, but he was able to come up. I still had his leg, so I was framing, trying to come up again. And then I tried going to Crab Ride to take his back. I wasn't able to get his hip all the way to the mat, but I did come up and try to attack the back. From here, I usually like to hug the hips. For some reason, I went for the upper body control and I had a hard time getting my hooks in. But when he came back, I tried going to mount. He got by the edge again, so we moved again. And then he turned into me and I ended up in my guard. So Alvin's been doing this De La Hiva to X guard to triangle lately. I thought it was really cool. When Alvin first started training, I was super happy just because I, I think it's so important for us to be able to have something in common, something that we can do together, grow together, and really just enjoy. Before he started training, I spent so much time at the gym, I felt like I never saw him. He works during the day, and then in the evenings was when I would work and train. So it really felt like I never saw him, but when he started training, it, it really made me so happy it, and it really changed our relationship for the better. We're both in love with the sport and sometimes it would frustrate me when I would roll with him. Um, I don't know what it is. I've talked to a lot of people, like couples in jiu-jitsu, and they say that they can't roll with their significant other but now he's turned into one of my favorite people to drill with and roll with and flow roll with um, so it's really cool so he's he's really good with like the crab rides and brimbolos Here he tried to go for that arm bar from Turtle. When I went for the guard pass, he did really good about stiff arming. And I tried to jump into the arm bar, but I lost it. So here he hugs my hips and I do the same to him, but I'm able to reverse the back take and take his back and then the timer goes off go <laughs> damn that's it oh, oh you boy there's like pimple popping going on right here <laughs> this is my second place let's see what happens <laughs> drum roll no drum roll last time i can't see i'm fine um, how you do with needles? I'm fine. Okay, uh, hey, can you feel that? Yep. <laughs> sorry. Yo. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, Kelsey. Sorry, that's okay. One, two, three. Does that hurt? It does. Oh, yeah. 
Man, that came down fast. It's a lot, huh? No, it's not a lot, but like it shrunk fast. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. There wasn't a lot in there. Okay. How are you so good at this? Hold still. How are you so good at this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The last one, just give me a second, sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And be sure to come back next week to see how I made these homemade tortillas for these barbacoa tacos. Take care.